if our next guest looks familiar, it's because he starred with Wilson the Dog in those award-winning lotto ads five years ago. But Michael Self is also a gardening guru, and he's hosted more than 700 television garden shows over the years. So we're thrilled to have him here to talk with us about bringing some life into our gardens. Welcome, Michael. Hi there. How's things? I'm very, very yeah. well. Really nice to have you in the studio. Oh, well, so glad to be here. Why is it so important to have the birds and the bees and the butterflies in our gardens? Well, just about every element of life comes in with those. The First of all, we can look at passion, we can look at battles between, we can look at the reproduction of the, of the world, but really the birds, the bees, they add entertainment value. There's nothing more finer than watching drunken tuis fall out of camellia bushes. <laughs> There's The bees are there for pollination. Butterflies add colour, pollination. The, the birds are there, they're cleaning up insects. Uh, scrabbling around getting rid of the slugs and snails and you know, as a home gardener you become conservationist to the world. So entertainment and goodness as well. So what should I be planting uh, if I want to bring native birds into my into my garden? Work out which birds that you want if you're looking at things like the wood pigeons. Look at, that. look at berries. Now the knee cow palm evolved with pigeons to be able to have their berries eaten by the pigeons so they will then grow the seeds when they come out the other end little insects to to come in so the fantails can come nectar for the tuis and the bellbirds and so you look at camellias and kowai when you when you plant those and just have a look and then look this time of the year lots of things like nephophia so the wax eyes come in and add that little bit of beauty of winter those little wax eyes are just gorgeous aren't they are they what and you know it really distresses me when i see one in the mouth of a cat <laughs> oh yeah, because oh, yeah, they, they, they do get caught quite often, don't they? Are we also, also beautiful butterflies. We love to look at butterflies. Yeah. What can you do to encourage them into the garden? Because I don't, we all know about swan plants. We had them as yeah. kids, watch them on like butterflies. Yes. But what else? Yes. Well, the white butterfly, which we curse around our cabbages, is very important in pollinating lavender and a number of those things. Oh, I didn't know that. You have plant lots of cinerarias at the moment, so you get those lovely little admiral butterflies with the little black fairy looper caterpillars. You know, a whole mixture of different plants. You don't have to plant great big trees, just lots of bedding plants, and you'd be amazed at the little moths and butterflies that will come along. So just quickly, I knew that bees are really important, and without them, the world would pretty much crumble. Yeah. But butterflies are really important as well. Yes, yes. Uh, Lincoln University had a conference on butterflies and moths as pollinators just over a year ago. And so, you know, it's a world conference. So they do the job just like bees do? Yes, and different flowers, specific little jobs that they do. They love the nectar. Flowers put out the nectar and just, you know, it's like you wearing a beautiful dress and you'll attract me. Nectar attracts the butterflies. Excellent. Well, that, that's a very good analogy. Well, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio and there's some great advice and some great things to plant there to get those gorgeous native birds and butterflies into our gardens. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in, Michael. Oh, it's been a pleasure. It. And I keep wanting to go, Wilson, for the top. That is such a great answer too. I, I'll tell you a secret. He's out on a date with a great dame. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to check out Michael's other work and activities on and off the screen, go to his website, gardenrambles.co.nz.